This is Wyoming, the least populated state in the U.S. And this is a small town in Teton County called Jackson. Just like every other town in Wyoming, Jackson was supposed to be a normal cowboying town. But with the cowboying, Jackson somehow also became one of the richest and most expensive places in the United States. The average house price here, according to Zillow, is above $2 million, which in comparison is two times of Orange County, California, and about six times the national average. The houses here in the past few years have sold for record numbers, and the other counties of Wyoming don't even come close. Now, this is very unlikely. Number one, because Wyoming is the least populated state in the United States. There are barely 600,000 people in Wyoming, and the state is mostly comprised of small towns. Secondly, the town of Jackson itself isn't a big financial hub or anything like that which drives house prices. So how did Jackson Hole get so expensive, and why is it called the wealthiest place in the country? Let's start with Jackson. The town has a population of just 10,000 people, and is mostly dependent on tourism, which is driven by skiing and the national parks around it. The town has all sorts of restaurants, shops, and tourism-concentrated businesses, which is just like every other ski location. But what isn't just like every other ski location is the level of wealth which is in this town and this valley. So, the reason the town is so wealthy is because there are several billionaires and millionaires who call Jackson Hole their home or second home. Now, the town itself doesn't have any billionaires or millionaires. They might come there for a drink or two, but they don't live in the town. Most rich people actually live outside of the town, and that's because all the new developments are a few miles away from the town. The developments are considered in the town because Jackson is the only town near them. These developments are the places where you'll see exceptionally big houses and the richest people in the country going for a morning walk. Now, it wasn't like this always. The people of Jackson were never billionaires or millionaires. The people who are billionaires were not actually Wyoming natives, but they had shifted here from other states. And Jackson Hole has seen people with similar backgrounds filling up the valley. This influx here has been going on for more than a decade, but during the COVID period, it reached a new peak. Everybody was trying to avoid the cities, and Teton County just saw a massive wave of people from different parts of the country buying multi-million dollar homes here. This increased the home prices here incredibly. The impact was so massive that houses that were $2 million in 2021 rose up to $4 million in just a year in 2022. Now, this shouldn't happen at the scale it happened in Jackson Hole, and that's because there was supposed to be a lot of empty land in the area that would help with demand, but in reality, there's not. There's a limited amount of space available in Teton County, and that helped the house prices here push even further. Now, if you're wondering why there is a shortage of land in a state like Wyoming, which is mostly supposed to be an empty field, well, that's because 97.15% of land in Teton County is federal and state lands, which puts it to only 2.85% of available land, which is about 77,000 acres. And if you minus the ranches and hotels and resorts in the county, the land available for housing is pretty limited. Now, Jackson became expensive because of the people who moved there, which included them buying big houses and ranches, which later on increased the price for the whole area. But the question here is why they moved here in the first place. Well, that's pretty complicated because people have very different reasons to be here. But for the majority of people, it's a combination of factors. Generally, most people come to Wyoming because there are no taxes. The state collects no personal or corporate income tax, and it has one of the nation's lowest sales tax rates. But you see, it isn't just about the taxes. It's also about an escape from the city life. In the recent few years, the number of people that are leaving big cities in America has increased drastically. This has led people to look for places which are the opposite of cities, which would be peaceful, less traffic, and more nature connected. Jackson came out as a perfect place. It's one of the most beautiful places in the country. There are plenty of outdoor activities and the town has all the necessities plus the coolest bar. It's kind of the same thing as Aspen and Vale. 
People moved there for the same reasons too, but they got too crowded later on, and Jackson Hole came out as another option. For retired people, it's the perfect place. They tend to move out from California or New York and live here for the full year, while the other people who are working are coming here for summers or winters. This influx of these rich people is the reason for the expensive houses all over the county. Because these people who are moving from California are not living in a small two-bedroom house in Jackson Town, they're actually moving to mansions which are built throughout the valley. Now, for the people who move to Jackson Hole, it's amazing. They get a break from the city noises, they get to watch the beautiful sunrise every morning, and they get to experience all the Wyoming things. But for some people of the town, this influx has been very brutal. You see, in a small town like Jackson, all it takes is a few billionaires and a couple dozen millionaires in a small population to skew an average. That means that not all people in Jackson are rich. There are still wage workers and average salary people for whom this might not be so pleasant. More specifically, for people who own a house in Jackson, there is no problem. But for the people who are living on rent and working regular jobs, this has been a nightmare. This is because the price and rent of any real estate in the area have gone up exponentially, but their salaries have remained the same, and it has become hard for them to afford such expensive places with a normal wage. This income disparity has caused many people to move out of the town and relocate to neighboring towns. It's hard to say when it will be easier for these people, because with the current trend of people moving to these places, the prices of houses in Jackson Hole are expected to rise even more. Hopefully, the town will find a solution for these people, and they will enjoy the sunrise in Jackson again.